on your mark. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 2 p.m. Uh, this is the meeting of the Public Art Committee. Uh, we are in City Hall second floor media room. Um, Megan, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Stockhouse? Here. Mr. Toth? Here. Ms. Wood? Here. Chair Jennings? Here. Uh, Biba Christopoulos has an excused absence. And uh, as of the Board of Commissioners meeting last night, uh, both Biba and Nick have been appointed to full voting positions. And we have two new alternate members, Angela Settins and Dawn Arbolello. So um, I'm sure Irene Jacobs will be doing her usual efficient processing and we'll get them familiar with sunshine laws and get them sworn in in time for our December meeting. Uh, we don't have any guests. Um, has anyone, has everyone had a chance to um, read the minutes of the October 12th meeting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. So moved. Second? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion, corrections, comments? Yep. Okay. All in favor of accepting the minutes as submitted, say aye. 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 Any, um, any nays? Okay, minutes accepted is submitted unanimously. Um, old business current project updates. Uh, the Black Heritage Project. Um, I got an email from Stephen Oliver. Uh, as of November 3rd, he is back in Florida. Um, e Diane emailed, uh, printed out the email we got from him that uh, basically details all of his uh, activities until then. Um, if you want to take a minute or two to take a look at it. And um, uh, and I did reach out to Public Works and they, um, uh, Tom Function and, and Brandon Crum, they do, uh, they have his contact information. They're going to coordinate a meeting to just go over the site locations at both, right. you know areas and, and just, you know, discuss those a little bit more in length. Right. Yeah, I think we had some um, comments from the mayor and some of the commissioners about um, using a uh, location on the sponge docks that was closer to that little information house, not at the bus stop. They were concerned about, you know, people congregating there and clogging up the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So that's something that will have to be discussed. And I also noticed that there uh, seems to be a building going up uh, opposite the corner in f by the uh, CAP Center. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know whether that will affect line of sight, but it's something that we should probably be aware of. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure it will still be fine. But, uh, but anyway, obviously he's still doing a lot of research on, you know, historical images and... Uh, you know, working on his materials and everything else. Does anybody have any comments or uh, suggestions on the progress of this? No. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, moving on, Graham, the illuminated art boxes. First, before you give your report, I wanted to thank you for handling all the image submissions. Yes. And. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the 40 selected images were Graham gave to me on a thumb drive, and I processed them so they would have the, you know, the crop and the, um, uh, the bleed that's necessary to put them in the box. Um, I dropped off the thumb drive with Alan for printing for the next round. Um, hopefully we should have them up in time for the holiday season. And um, Alan suggested that we purchase another 10 vinyl panels 
so that we have a total of 80, allowing easier rotation when we change out the, uh, the images. I gather we have um, when the, the 40 we have now, I think we used 10 that were already in existence from the last round. Well, I know when we purchased the, um, the new acrylic, um, we ordered 40. Right. Yeah. So I guess, you know, so we would just go ahead and make up the difference. Yeah. Which right. We, that sounds yeah, right. it's not, not yeah. a... Yeah, and I did give Alan a, um, from UPS, the, our printer, um, the information about, gosh, three weeks ago, telling him that go ahead and, you know, make arrangements. I gave him Public Works um, contact information. I said, please contact them and go pick them up, you know, so right. you'll have them because they're going to be coming soon. But he did not respond back to me whether he's done that or not. Did he communicate that to you at all? Uh, no, he just, um, you know, he just acknowledged receipt of the thumb drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was going to start printing. Okay. And now that we have the, the extra panels, it'll be mm -hmm. a lot easier because they can just, you know, in one swell foop, as they say, we, they can just take out the old images and slide in the new panels. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a lot more efficient for public works. Mm -hmm. Graham, you have any? Um, <clears throat> yes. On the... Um, um, there's a spreadsheet and there are um, a number of documents associated with this. Um, how do you want me to handle those? They're still trickling in. Do you want, um, should I send them to you, Megan? Yes, please. Because okay. what I'd like to do is make sure that I have everyone yeah. on the list. Mm -hmm. I have all their, they're all vendors and then do all of their payments at the same time. Okay. I will send you the spreadsheet and uh, any supporting documents that I have. Thank you. And make sure you get those um, certainly later today. Thank you. Yeah. Um, apart from that, yes, it was it was fairly painless. Um, some recommendations for next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we should make it clear that um, 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 we want no more than I suggest three images per artist as a maximum. Mm -hmm. um, some people submitted one, some people submitted 12, and um, some people were, were very confused and, uh, and, and so on. It took me quite a while to <clears throat> get uh, the, the people who submitted images that were of insufficient quality to persuade them to give me images of sufficient quality for printing mm. um, was an interesting exercise in itself. Um, people who are not photographers tend not to know about such things. So um, it's, it's not immediately obvious to them. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and I'm thinking that, that perhaps um, we should prepare a handout for next time that we can just send to people um, if they have questions that has all the details on it, be more than happy to write it. Um, and, uh, you know, so that we can have that on, on hand for next time. Um, but, you know, otherwise I think it was, a, you know, it went well. I think we've also learned to, just in my discussion with the uh, finance director, is that, um, you know, we've done it different ways in the past two times, but, um, you know, because of their auditing procedures and things like that, they would prefer to do, um, you know, just checks and not yes. even take, do credit cards or anything like that, you know, mm -hmm. or they will not do PayPal, you know, so it's got, we have to make that very clear on the front end too, that, you know, mm -hmm. this honorarium is, you know, by check only and that, y you know, if, if you're going to participate, you need to go ahead and, and fill out the vendor sheet and, you know, the W-9, uh, or you're not eligible, you know, right. because we've had some pushback from some people because they're worried about their, you know, their... The privacy. Uh, yes, yeah, their mm. privacy, and uh, understandable, but, you know, it's like we have to go by city procedures, so it's kind of mm -hmm. like if, if you, you know, if you don't feel strongly about that, then you can go ahead and say, I'm not going to take it, but if you want it, you need to do these things, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, so it was, every time we do it, we seem to learn a little bit more. And, you know, then there's the photographers, you know, the, that submit photography. They understand the high resolution. The people that are submitting, 
you know, images of their paintings, they don't necessarily have the savvy to understand what it takes, you know, to provide a high definition, right. you know. Uh, That's so, not their so wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you've got all different levels, which it was our ex my experience in the past, too, you know, with the two previous sessions. So, yeah, anything we can do to streamline it, I'm all for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll, t I'll take care of doing a document for that. Um, also, um, we did mention in the call that there would be an online catalog of artworks where people could purchase either prints or the original artwork. Um, and um, I'd be more than happy to do the, um, uh, the acquisition mm -hmm. of the information that has to go with yeah, that from the great. artists themselves and uh, see how long that takes me to get. Yeah, and that's something that we'll post, you know, and we'll we'll promote it, you know, when we get all the images and everything done, because you know people mm -hmm. do like to find out about the artists a little bit. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I will take care of that then. Yeah, and Graham, if it would make your life easier, you know, now that I've processed all of the images, I can just, you know, run them in Photoshop so that they're thumbnails instead of the 33 and a half by 33 and a half at 300 <clears throat> dpi which would just choke um, yes everything. that would be <laughs> absolutely wonderful yeah. yeah okay yeah if we can do that sure then. i can just batch process them mm -hmm. okay yeah and then we can use those smaller images for the catalog um the the current catalog that's um online has most of the ones that are currently viewable mm -hmm. but not all of them so. do, you, do you all think that you know, it should be, they should be up for at least six to eight months or a year. What are your thoughts? Well, it's it's been a year. I yeah, think it's, I, been, I it's think, been a... I think an annual is nice. I think annually is plenty of work. I agree. <laughs> Plus, we have the budget to consider. Yes. The other thing I was going to uh, run past you, Graham and Diane, and the other members of the committee is... Um, you know, you said a maximum of three images, but should we restrict the honorarium to one per artist? Yeah, I, th I thought that we in this call we did go ahead and say, you know, one per artist submission because if I, I don't have it in front of me, but... It was confusing. Okay. Because um, I know in the past, fr first two times we did it, we got, you know, a barrage from some people and, you know, so, yeah... Um, yeah, I looked at the um, past um, spreadsheets that I was um, mm -hmm. that, that that I was provided, and um, some people got more than one honorarium for mm -hmm. you know for submitting more than one image. So, you know, I went with that this time as well. Mm -hmm. you know? um, not for submitting for for succeeding with more than one image. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think you know having a goal of one image per artist and, and spreading it over as many artists as possible mm -hmm. is is admirable um, but as with this time we found that we we ended up choosing two images from one artist and mm -hmm. and um, 38 other individual images and, and that's that's mm -hmm. okay too yeah. you know? yeah and based on you know compiling all your responses to your selections and everything it was clear that there were some particular artists that you all really liked because you selected multiple, mm -hmm. you know, images from their, you know, mm -hmm. submissions. So, yeah, whatever works. Okay. Um, what's our, uh, um, what, what's the, the uh, area that these, this call goes to? Is it all of uh, Clear, uh, uh, Pinellas County or is it Tampa Bay? Or we what? put it out on um, multiple places. We put it on social media, of course. Creative Pinellas is not lo no longer um, putting out calls to artists for some reason. Um, the Art Association, well, the the St. Pete Art Association, they still do the calls to artists. Um, we do a press release, and then we also um, have it on the um, Florida um, Public Art you know, uh, they put it out on their newsletter, too. So you've seen it in there. In addition to that, I sent it to the um, uh, the Tartan Springs um, Artists Association, the Safety Harbor one, the Dunedin one, the Clearwater one, um, and also the uh, um, 
a couple of the local photography associations um, and the Pinellas schools. Mm -hmm. um, There's also groups like um, yeah. on Facebook, you know, that they have specific mm -hmm. interests and everything. So I try to push it out onto, you know, those that are not private, you know, mm -hmm. kind of thing. So. And it was also publicized to the um, uh, Tarpon Springs Library Photography Club. Mm -hmm. So we had a good reach, really. Yeah. So did, does, do the results reach anybody? In other words, uh, this is a call for people so they can't, um, maybe they don't see what it is. Is there any kind of uh, coverage of what the results of this are? Uh, which I'm, I, the reason I'm asking that is that one, it, it's good good you know, publicity for Tartan Springs and what we're doing with this, but also it shows people, you know, what the, what the finished product is mm -hmm. and how they could, you know, design things a little bit more specifically for it. You know, if you, if you uh, want to, um, say, upgrade the participants in some way, which would be really well, great if we could... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because yeah. sometimes it's it's hard to pick forty. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I mean, for me, it's very hard. It was judged many many art right. shows. It's yeah. very hard to do it, you know. And I'm doing it because I said, "All right, I got forty. I got to pick 40. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, "Do I dare be one of those uh, uh, really uh, nasty judges and only select the ones I want?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I um, did invite yeah. in the um, in the court <coughs> artists. I did invite people to go to the um, the the, um, the public art website for Tarpon. There is one, yeah. um, and uh, and look at the catalog for the previous year, and to familiarize themselves mm -hmm. with that, and to see what were, what had been done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, that that yeah. catalog though shows the the artworks only. It doesn't show them in situation, does it? Um, no, there. Are, what do you it, mean by situation? No, it doesn't, doesn't show the actual the box. A photograph of the street. Oh, with the box. box. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it it shows the artwork. Yeah. And it has some artist information. Yeah. Because because you know. if people can't get between one and three and twelve <laughs> <laughs> entries, they're not going to maybe get the connection of this to the light boxes, mm -hmm. what it's going to be like. They're, they're still just seeing, I'm submitting some drawings. But we, yeah. we do use a, a picture of it in the light box in the call to artists, though, yeah. so they can yeah. see, like, can how see it's... Yeah. 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 I'm wondering, then, if, if it might not be an idea to have a, um, um, a, a video tour of oh, that's some an interesting of them. Idea. You know, if, we, if yeah. we knew a videographer or someone who has a smartphone... Mm -hmm. um, Joan, um, who could, uh, you know, go on... Another road trip, Diane. <laughs> and, and look at some of these in, mm. in place, you know, right. the new ones, and um, and place them there. I think that's mm. an excellent idea, Robert. Well, it just yeah. gives them a, 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 a sense of goal, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. that, that yeah. A little bit more information than just submitting another mm -hmm. drawing and stuff. And mm -hmm. it would give them also the idea of... of uh, Trying to configure whatever their image is with what, how it would fit in that light box, so mm -hmm. so that they wouldn't give us a long horizontal image for the light box. <laughs> right. right, that's another or, thing. In the call next year, we yeah. have to s really push the idea of they're going to be big and square. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, there was one that was uh, huh? long and narrow vertical, mm -hmm. so yeah. you just end up with all this black yeah, border. The, it just doesn't fit, you know, and, yeah. it's, uh, and, and that's just, you know, because somebody's just picking something, well, I like this, I'm going to submit it, you know, instead of thinking what the, what the end result mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. is going to be. Uh, yeah. So I, I think, uh, you know, the, the idea of the light box is we get people participating in it, it's something that's down there, and it's something that, that we should be proud of in in uh, mm -hmm. in this project, and it's a it's a slightly different project than a lot of other places. Right. And mm -hmm. it, it's sort of yeah, it's uh, the only it's place that they exist, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and it's something that that uh, you know it, they're they're hard to spot, you know, when you when you go down the street because there's other kinds of things up there like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, uh, but if you start looking for them. 
then then they become more part of the street. But if you're if you're not looking for them, which is the other issue with this whole thing, is mm -hmm. you know we've often wondered how to get people to pay more attention to it. But right. Yeah. Well, we could just put well as they pass it, we could just have it show up on their phones. Well, if, <laughs> if, 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 but if we go out and just you know once the new ones are up and we take pictures of them individually, you know, on a, a good day or whatever, and then we could feature them like, you know, one, like once a week on Facebook or something and Instagram oh, and just kind of throw it out yeah. and talk about the artist and everything. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would like to see is that we put like a small, like some sort of vinyl number on the picture of frames or like right below them. Mm -hmm. So then that we could use, we could do a map of where they are so that's a good idea you know that way well i could in, in i could include that in the crop <coughs> you know when oh. i crop them you know i could just have it as part of the you know the right. image because almost without exception they have they, there's a border there mm -hmm. yeah that'd be okay. even easier well one of the artists asked me how they would know where their particular image was. And I said, well, I'm sorry, but you're just going to go and have to look at them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually, we have had people um, on Facebook, every once in a while, I'll catch them where an artist from out of town will come and stand under their image right. and take their picture, you know, and say, this is my, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I just think with the numbers... It'd be easy to do a map in addition to the catalog, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so people can find them in particular because there might be right. friends or family members that want to come to the docks and find their, you know, the right. artist's, you know, image. So I wish we had take uh, selfies. Right. I wish I had caught this before I gave Alan the. Uh, I don't think he's printed them yet, to be honest with okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just reach out to him yeah. and see. Because it wouldn't be a big deal for me to do that. Because, you know, I he did not give me an indication that he had picked them up from Public Works, and I hadn't checked with Public Works to see if he had. So. I'm sure they can add just a number in the printing process, you know, serial number. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, um, I've been on, on state juries for grants and things like that, and um, it's about uh, people submitting... Uh, under different names and things, I you know I think there's a different uh, you know it, it what it's a hundred dollars and and if you yeah. limit it to one per person, but how many repeat? I mean I don't know the local artists that well, but I I think I've sensed some of the same artists every time. I mean how mm -hmm. you know out of out of these forty that we select, how many of them are repeats? How many of them are kind of our our core of artists that, that will always submit to right. us? I mean, that's. I mean, I'm I'm not asking for that for any kind of recrimination or anything like that. It's just an interesting thing. What mm -hmm. what is our what is our pool of artists to work from? That's why I asked about how far out this is going. Yeah, yeah no, I could um, I could go ahead and put all the Excel files together and color code them and then sort them and see, mm -hmm. and bring it to the December meeting. Oh, did yeah. You? Four uh, of them told me that their documents were already on file. Yeah, <laughs> so they just there were multiple um, there were multiple artists that had submitted their paperwork, and procurement would respond and be like, "Thank you for your paperwork, but you are a vendor." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since this is my first go round too, like I was realizing, like, oh, they must have done a box mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. last time. Right. Mm -hmm. That's well, good if they're anticipating it. I mean, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's a, a goal for, right. for mm -hmm. people. Yeah, and I, I did write to um, all of the unsuccessful submitters and, um, and asked them to submit next year. Mm, you, and I, had, I just have to keep praising him because he did a so much more phenomenal job than I did with the first <laughs> two. I was like, he took the time and... His, you know, emails to them were very comprehensive and, and clear. Mm -hmm. And so, and then, you know, I just know how much work it is. So thank you very much. I mean, it was like you did a, a fabulous job, and I'm thrilled that you want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I got sentenced to three more years last night. <laughs> <laughs> With no possibility of parole. Correct. Okay. Um Let's move on to the Riverside Field Mural Project. I gather we had two proposals. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay. The first one by Sydney Presso. Um, I, I told her about your concerns that they were too in your face bright. Mm -hmm. And so she, I asked her if she would submit, uh, you know, one that was a little bit more subdued. And mm -hmm. so what you see in front of you is her right. uh, second proposal. Which I think is kind of cool. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the second one that we have um, from Mr. Davis I came in and um, he's does more, he's more of a conceptual artist, so mm -hmm. uh, he's um, giving you his proposal. That's the second one. Yeah. And also he gave like a breakdown of um, his budget costs and things like that too. Mm-hmm. I live right in the middle of this image, and I still can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's an abstract I, design. I, I know it's an abstract, and it says here in the in the uh, based on the artist Rothko style. If anybody uh, yeah. understands, it, does anybody know who Rothko is? Yes, yeah. he is the last person in the world I would associate with this image. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, well. But I don't know where that came from. Maybe he was thinking of something else, or I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the other thing, too, is it's a very interesting design, but I don't know how it relates to, you know, soccer and tennis. Yeah, if I may. Oh, please. Um, I, I got to say, I love the soccer and tennis one. Right. Now, I think that's just perfect. Um, this um, is intriguing, and I'd like to see it somewhere, but mm -hmm. not there. Right, which which one are we speaking about? The first the, yeah, or the abstract, abstract map. Yeah. Oh, the abstract this, map. This one I think is is wonderful now, <laughs> and this I'd like to see somewhere, but just not there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. My it's, two it's, cents. It's, it, to me, it doesn't speak to the location. <laughs> no. I mean, I, it's it's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's it's an interesting image, but you know, what is it an image of? Let's see. Well, it's supposed to be Kramer by you in the middle of it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's Salt and Lake. we have some it's clouds mm -hmm. and some... The watershed outlet between Kramer by you and Salt Lake. What's Salt Lake? Salt Lake is it's like when you're going out on Tarpon Avenue going east. East of US-19. Right. Oh, it's that little... It's that, on the left. Oh, it's that little thing. It's sort of... Mm -hmm. right. Oh, that's, that's a lake? That's what it's called. That's yeah, it's called salt. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just part of the Anclote. Yeah. Okay. No, I think I think it might be part of Lake it's, Tarpon. Yeah, it's part of Lake Tarpon. Yeah. Mm. It's connected with that. Yeah. Uh, well, that would be freshwater then. Mm. Mm, brackish. Brackish, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't what, matter in the in the oh. thing. I I agree that I don't think it fits the. Uh, uh, Structure that it's up, that it's going against. Mm -hmm. I think scale-wise and uh, things like that. I mean, I, I, he, I, I think the artist could make it work, but they're not on this particular right. image. Right. Yeah. You have to scope out some of the other buildings and some of the other places, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. Now, did we get a budget from Sydney Presso? We did not. Okay. But we did we can, ask for... But, but we can give her a limit on supplies, too. Right. Didn't she give us a budget last time before... No, this is all I have from her. Yeah, just what I've given you here. Okay. But, I mean, if you want to, you know, you could say up to, you know, $500 or up to $300, whatever you mm -hmm. think, you know. Well, the thing is, I, what I, I think we should do is if we decide that, to, that we're going to go with this artist and these designs, we should ask her to ask her to submit a budget. Okay. And, I mean, if she just falls within what we consider a, you know, normal range, then, you know, we could just approve it. Mm -hmm. You know, if she sends, you know, a, a bill for $3,000 for materials, then it's, you know. She did That's mention fine. that um, she was working on a, a pretty um, lengthy project right now, and she would, if you approved her, she wouldn't be able to start until January. And I told her that. That's fine. That's not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'd like to entertain a motion um, mm -hmm. about um, 
uh, accepting the um, uh, Presso mural. So moved. Okay. Can I get a second? Sure, I'll second. Nick. Okay. Now, any any further discussion other than what we've had on this? Um, I find their color choice, although bright, very strange. <laughs> um, so, uh, but I don't know if it's going to be exactly that. This could be a lot of has a lot to do with the way the copier. Did the color yes. right. and uh, mm -hmm. um, so I, mean, I I think I think it's fitting for the for what we're doing with the field houses. Right. Yeah. She says warm and bright 1960s color palettes. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> but that's you know that's yeah, what why, she why says. Why 1960s? I don't know. Maybe it's her favorite. Um, yeah, the mid-century uh, uh, trend. Av avocado and burnt orange. Yeah, yeah. It's like my uh, old kitchen. Uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, think about it. I mean, in with trees around and everything, it could look pretty cool. Yes, you know? I think it will. I, 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 yeah. You know what I was thinking of suggesting, and you, you guys are really more of an artist than I am, but I thought it would be interesting is instead of having those, the black is to pick up maybe the brown from the tennis I think it would just, I, there, there's something about that, that harsh black that's bugging me a little. I don't know how you guys feel. Um, well, bringing that up, Joan, I think black as a, as a uh, pigment on the side of a building mm -hmm. is, is in, in Florida sun. Right. Could, could be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a, it is a killer, and it, it's, you know, as far as color, color goes, I mean, the, the two worst things you can put in, if you're, if you're a colorist as an artist, is white and black. I mean, right. they, they just completely, uh, it's like throwing uh, um, dissonant sounds and things like that into music right. that have no business being there. But so this is I, a John Cage, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, if you're doing it on purpose, that's yeah. different. But um, I, the the thing that that concerns me is that color-wise, those that black doesn't fit with the side of the building. I mean, this is mm -hmm. one building, right? And, yes. And, and so the black uh, is is an element that's not on the side of the building. Right. I, yeah, but, I find you know, it jarring. It's... Yeah, I don't know if we can micromanage it though. I mean, it's either. A, yeah. yeah, this is the second go round, and uh, well, the thing is, I, I I personally would be interested in seeing, you know, another submission, and I sure it would it wouldn't be a big deal to do it. I could probably do it in thirty seconds in Photoshop. Is to substitute the brown from the the other side of the building for the black. Well, what if you know I'm asking her for um, a supplies budget anyway? So what if I just ask her? You know, tell her the committee would like to see the black, you know, uh, on this version, you know, change to the same color brown that she has. Right. So, in, in other words, just abstract. mirror mirror right. this yeah. color yeah. palette. The reason she did it is because of the black panels that you see on soccer balls. I mean, right. Oh, uh, right. Mm -hmm. But those are 1960s soccer balls. You ever see you've seen yeah, right, modern right. soccer balls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, can I call my grandson as a consult? <laughs> he, yeah, he plays soccer. Um, they are, aren't they? Okay. All, sorts, yes. all right. So uh, we have a motion and a second, and um, everybody in favor of adopting this design with some possible color tweaks. Okay. And, and obtaining a, um, a budget. A, a budget. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Graham, you want to make that motion? Didn't we already have that? <clears throat> yeah, but not. This is more specific. Okay. Um, yeah, that was just an, you know, an approval. Yes, but. like to move that we contact the artist and ask for a quote for materials and also suggest the use of the brown instead of the black in view of our Florida sunshine. Okay. Do I hear a second? <laughs> I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion passes. So, Diane, you'll follow up with her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, 
The next thing, which somehow we missed on the uh, uh, agenda, is the Pete the Pelican uh, plaque. So I'm going to insert that because it was old business. Okay, and there's a, a, a printout in your, um, you know, in your packet. Okay. Um, oh, I noticed uh, uh, there's a typo after meet again. It should be, you know, like three dots, I believe, you know, three periods or one period, but it shouldn't be a comma and a period. Where is that? Uh, until we be, meet again. It should be an ellipsis. Right. Okay. Um, uh, this was obviously suggested by the winner, George, uh, George, Joy Giorgio Sackelson. And I did run the whole thing past her. And in terms of transparency, I did also uh, run it by Mayor Vaticiotis, and they both approved it. But if you see anything on there that you don't like, please. Um, Speak now or forever hold your plaque. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And this is this is going to be uh, what, uh, a plaque with the uh, with the with the with the pelican. Can I see? Right. And when when the plaque, if this is approved and if put into production, when this is ready, um, then we're going to do a photo op with uh, Joy and the mayor. Good. Um, right. I might have done something like this instead. This part's fine, but taken this and moved it over to here so that it reads an initiative of okay. Public Art Committee, Tarpon Springs, mm -hmm. and put that kind of in the middle. Okay, Diana. I, I need you all to give me a, a complete PDF of exactly how you want it to be, if you would revise that for me instead of oh, Yeah, I'll do it if we all agree on that. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, Graham, you just want an initi initiative of with the logo, not yeah. the type. Mm -hmm. How does everybody feel about that? Sure. Okay. This is going to be a plaque. It's going to be what? On a, on a vinyl? For a yeah, I believe, Diane, it's not. Out. Well, would you do it on. Um, the metal, the aluminum, or we could or do one. aluminum one. An aluminum one, because if it's bigger, it needs to be probably staked. Right. Excuse me. And uh, you're gonna do it in braille. You're the public art committee. You tell me. <laughs> well, what do you What do you think? Is that something that you, you know, should Should we do something like that? I mean, in braille. In, in braille. braille. Yeah. There's a. Walmart Sculpture Park in, in St. Louis. It's a big, big open field, and they have concerts and stuff mm -hmm. and sculptures. And uh, I have one there, and it's a big long deck. And what they've done is they've made it a walking tour for blind people as well. Oh. Not only do they have Braille guide guidance for the whole whole project, but mm -hmm. they've made little replicas of each sculpture, so you can touch them, so that the blind can can actually feel what the sculpture is as they're describing it, you know? right. and and it's a it's just a very nice little thing. But I don't know. Um, it's to, an interesting to, point, but I don't know. Yeah, you know, to make a you know to have a public thing, you know, and like this, and the, where it's dedicated to somebody or, or something. It's a bit a bit of history mm -hmm. uh, as well. If if it were in Braille, I, you know, I don't think anything else is in Braille in, no, in Tartan Springs. No, no. And I don't, and, and in some Many. ways, I don't see why there isn't. You know, they could go to a baseball game. They do the Star Spangled Banner in signs, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so it's it, it's ADA if you want right. to put it that way. Well, the, the two, the, the the given the location, I don't know how easy it would be for somebody to get up on that gravel and, you know, read the Braille. Or can they read this, though? I mean, can, how far right. away from this are they? I wonder if we could put some kind of QR code that would translate into, you know, getting a, a you know, a sound bite on the, on the phone. But then they have to know where the QR code is. Yes. 
Well, seems kind of complicated. The I. Um, the, the, the whole issue of guided tours of the art of Tarpon Springs is something that we haven't addressed. Mm -hmm. um, and should we in the future, or even now, address it, then we need to address it with um, you know, ADA requirements and suggestions in mind. Uh, you know, not just the blind, but also um, other people that need assistance mm -hmm. in some way. Um, and, and I think that um, possibly that's more than we're prepared to discuss at the moment. Right. My, my feeling is, I, I think, Robert, that's a great idea, but I think for now we'll just, should just go yeah. for a straight sign. But that's something that we could look into. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, that sculpture has been without a sign for a really long time. I know. It needs to get we, up. It needs soon. to get up. I mean, it's it, mea culpa. This is partly my fault, so I'm I'm taking full blame for it. But now that it's here, I, I'd really like to, you know. Yeah. Well, if okay. you, if you get me exactly the format that it needs to be in, uh, with all the corrections made, then I could take it up to fast signs, and we could get it turned around pretty quickly. Okay. And you want it as a PDF? Yeah, they use a PDF. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'd like to entertain a motion to accept this as as will be amended per uh, Graham's suggestion. I'll make the motion to accept this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, do I hear a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay, motion passes. Okay, um, the Safford Gateway project, I think that's still uh, on hold. That was the one that, you know, Lucy Ann left us with, and uh, I think there's a lot happening along the trail there. I think it's worthwhile to just kind of uh, wait this one out a bit, but I think it's a great project. Uh, Nick, the Glenna Goodacre bench. Right, and we discussed uh, at the last meeting right. you know, that we would uh, go ahead and try and uh, uh, refurbish mm -hmm. you know, before we look towards doing a different, uh, going a right. different route with the concrete or, or right. some other material, and also, uh, yeah, I think mm -hmm. we should look into. Uh, you know, I went and looked at it again, and you know, it is really bleached out. Uh, mm -hmm. And that, but I still think you know the wood is in good shape. You know, it's, it's teak. It's very solid. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it could be, you know, uh, the, the the damaged portion can be feathered in. You know, sanded mm -hmm. to the edges and stuff. And then uh, right. whether it's... you need a stain to bring you know that back, an oil or you know, mm -hmm. and sand it and put the varnish on and feather it in. I think it should look fine. Right know. now, are you willing to take this on? To take it on. I and do it myself. Yes. <laughs> or do you know anybody that... Oh, you mean go out there and sand it and, and varnish it and do it? No, I, that's did, not my Okay, do you know anybody all. that... Because, uh, you know... Didn't, didn't I, we have a suggestion that we were going to ask I mean, public I, works? I thought there would be a lot of talent, you know, that, mm -hmm. you know, they're here, you know, within the city as far as, you know, being able to do that. I don't see it as being right. that time-consuming and... And all we need an outside vendor. It just seems it be something you know. I'm, I'm sure we have people that okay. are really good uh, with wood and uh, doing it. You know. Okay. Would you be willing to reach out to Public Works and coordinate with them? And I have kind to. Of, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I have to do it through me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because so, they, they would uh, rather us go through the, me as the sure, liaison. Sure. That's right. Nick, could you just send uh, Diane an email, basically? maybe even elaborating a little more on what you just said about, yeah. you know, sanding and feathering and staining and, sure. you know, what you would recommend, and then she could take it up with Public Works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was interesting what you said about the oiling, too, is that that might help moisturize it and mm -hmm. keep it, Yeah, you I mean, know, that's some better. Your options, you know, with teak, you know, either you rub it with oil or you go the other route, you know, and you start varnishing. And, mm -hmm. and then I re you did recall... I. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you said that teak is supposed to weather itself naturally, or no? 
No, or is it, no, no, no. It, it's it's you know it's just it's, it's a wood that's suitable for the marine environment mm -hmm. and all, but it still takes a lot of maintenance. You know, if you want it to look good, you know, you really stay on top of it. But it will last. But it will fade out. And, and you didn't see any structural damage to it, right? No, no. I don't. There's nothing wrong with the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, Nick, you're going to email Diane mm -hmm. with your recommendations for how this can be done, and she'll forward it to Public Works and see whether somebody there uh, could take this on. And if they can't, we'll just have to look for an outside vendor. Okay, Megan, our budget update. From Pat McNeese, principal planner, um, there are no updates for this month, but she did say that possibly we'll have one or two for December. Oh, excellent. So that. Um, and then just an interest, just some uh, interest added to the budget. So the, t the balance is $184,911. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, we didn't get any uh, submissions for the CRA mural project. Okay. Uh, the ordinance edits review. Uh, I am scheduled to make a presentation to the TRC tomorrow morning at 1110 at the dreadful hour of 9 a.m. Um, I <laughs> Uh, I think they emailed you, Joan, that because of the storm that that's going to be postponed. I haven't gotten the email yet. Okay, because I right before I came here, I saw that you were copied on it. So okay, I'll, I'll, if, I'll forward it to you when I get back. Yeah, please. Okay, so uh, I'm prepared to go, but if if it's canceled for the weather, that's fine too. Okay, any any um, new business? Well, heck, yeah. Uh, Last week, I was walking down through the sponge docks, since, mm. since now I'm on the committee. I said, well, let me walk through here with new eyes. Mm. You know, there's so much uh, I didn't see, so I made sure I looked at the art boxes and the different things. Uh, and one of the things I noticed was when I was walking down through the sponge docks was the, uh, the sponge boat that the city has, you know, in the middle of the sponge docks. Right. And it was really in great disrepair. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're going through all this, and I don't know if this is in our wheelhouse, our purview, mm -hmm. or something, but as far as, you know, the visual environment and all, when I went down there, you know, what, you know, what am I looking at? What are other people seeing when they come down here mm -hmm. and all? And, you know, one of the focal points, you know, is that, I mean, the reason right. it all exists is because of those types of vessels. You know, right. that, uh, that, that started the whole thing down there, the sponge industry. Mm -hmm. And it was just... Uh, had been sitting in the sun. It was sun baked. Um, it hadn't been painted in so long that is I'm worried. Is this one of the St. Nicholas boats? No, no. This is the uh, city's boat in the middle oh, okay. of the sponge dock oh. right there. Um, the I guess it's called the Tarpon Springs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's not. It's the one not in the water. The one in the water. Yes. Oh, the one in the water. The one in the water. Yeah. And it was just uh, my feeling was that needs to, somebody needs to jump on it. Uh, it, it really needs in, in painting and all. I could see the. Uh, some of the uh, the rails mm -hmm. and the uh, some of the cutouts that go underneath the rails that are shaped you know, really nice shapes and stuff they're starting to uh, uh, look really weathered and you know maybe starting to come apart and all so it really needs painting uh, for sure just to right. protect it but you know it's just something that uh, we really need to stay on top of because uh, you know there's not many of those left uh, right. and, and all but I just saw as far as you know where, you know, what people see and the impression they get and all the experience right. they have down there, I think this is a large part of it. And, you know, I just thought since we put so much effort in some of these other things, mm -hmm. you know, the, the details, it's almost mm -hmm. going to lose track of the, the right. big picture there. So that was just one of the... Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a great observation. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering, though, whether this would be more in the purview of... The historical society, or you know, possible CRA funding, yeah. if it is by, if it is owned by the city. Yeah, I'm not sure. It would probably yeah. be worth, Diane. Maybe email uh, Mark Lacoris and Mayor Vaticiotis, and say that it, you know that Nick Toth raised it at the PAC meeting that the Tarpon Springs vessels in disrepair, mm -hmm. and see see where that takes us. 
Sure, sure. I mean, if, if they decide it is in our purview, that's fine. But that's if they fine, can, but it bring, well, at least we bring it to the attention perfect, yeah. of who may be able to address it. Right. I was sort of thinking with the, uh, with the gateway right. uh, to, to Dota Kines, mm -hmm. uh, that was pure public works, right? I mean, we were asked to, to look at something, but right. so we, we were in a position of maybe recommending uh, they gave us options to recommend. <laughs> they didn't let us have our, our free will with right. it in a way. But um, is it is it something on our purview? And this is this is something maybe we even forgotten the whole uh, thing we've just gone through. Is what one of our mandates as a as a public art committee is 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 our recommendations on the way Tarpon Springs looks. Right. And mm -hmm. you've you've brought this up. It's about about yeah, it's here's a here's a major work. icon of of uh, Tarpon Springs. I, I don't know which is more the major icon that or the Tarpon the sponger in front of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, uh, right. But but I think those two things really are what people really see. Right. You know, and yeah. I mean, I remember I I saw one of those when I first came here in 1954, and it was probably a working one. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. so it it. Uh, but, you know, is, is it something there that we as a committee can make recommendations? I mean, only that, just say we noticed. Well, I that's, what, I that's where I was going with yeah, this. I don't say right. we should be the, the, right. the police, you know, of the police. Well, that's why, police. you know, I, you know Diane, I believe I asked <laughs> you to, forbid. you know, email Mark and <laughs> yeah. Mayor Vaticiotis about, <laughs> you know, our observation that this is falling into disrepair and is unsightly. And, uh, you know, find out from the powers that be who's, you know, who's responsible for... Yeah, is there, is there a, a, a maintenance program for that? I mean, it's a boat on the water. It has right. to be maintained. I mean, does somebody dive on it? To, right. You know, is, is when I had a boat say that my zinc is disappearing? Right. <laughs> and that's another uh, question... Forgive me for uh, interrupting oh, no. you, yeah. no, no. but uh, you know the long-term viability of that vessel. Uh, you know, I just noticed walking by. Mm -hmm. You know the uh, you know what the deck looked like and all. But you're right. I mean, you know the that's a you know how will that boat be maintained? It can't just sit there and not be maintained. I mean, it one right. day it's going to be beyond repair, and that would be really sad since uh, you know these things are you know so rare now to see a real sponge boat mm -hmm. and all and uh, what I saw also uh, walking around down the docks I went into the sponge exchange and looked at the vessel you know the boat that was out right. of the water and all and uh, I was mortified to see that the uh, the hull they have a tarp over a section of the hull near the bow in the front mm -hmm. on the uh, s uh, starboard side and it's basically collapsing Ooh. it looks like it's just Collapsing, rotted from the inside, uh, and all. It had been. It looks like it had been glassed, you know, right. over, you know, to be set there, and all. Right. But it was collapsing, uh, and all. And then the the uh, the uh, the diesel engine and the air compressor that's sitting there are basically uh, uh, rusting out, uh, you know, from the inside, right. and all. Uh, that's sad. You know, that's I mean, very I don't, sad. I don't know. That's with the cities, but I mean, just to let but you know what will happen if you don't do anything right. and all, I'd hate to see that happening to the city's boat that's in the water. So, I mean, I'm just wondering yeah. right. if there is uh, any provision for maintenance, for hauling, you know, for hauling the vessel out and, and, right. and what can be done, you know, we can, you know, there are experts in the area on the, on mm -hmm. those, on those vessels, you know, and on wood hulls in general and, you know, what can be done. Right now, because you know, we had a case uh, years ago, a few years back, where you know the uh, Saint uh, uh, the uh, Saint Nicholas, one right. of the older Saint Nicholases, uh, not the current one that you see, the seven, mm -hmm. but I think it was the three or something like that. You know, uh, by the time it got hauled out and all, we had you know experts in the state uh, right. and all in the area go and look at it, and it was just too far gone to be salvaged. Right. And I think all. isn't it a part of it in the mass the heritage? Yeah, yeah the, the mass is in front of the heritage. heritage. You're right; it just crumbled. Yeah, yeah. It's crumbled away. And, and they, I think, the historical society salvaged certain parts of it, like the mast. Mm -hmm. But as you said, the the, the boat itself was it's, just yeah, it would gone. be on repair. Right. And also, just a, what 
you know, maybe now would be a time to start thinking about the, it. Excuse me, is, is the sponge exchange privately owned? Yes. Yeah, it well, is. That's, so it belongs that's to somebody. The, oh, yeah, that. But I was just saying yeah. this is what could happen, yeah. you know, and yeah. I was just disturbed mm -hmm. to yeah. see it because, you know, these are such symbols, you know, of our heritage and, and what we have here in Tarpon right. Springs, you know, down there at the sponge docks. and the. <laughs> yeah, because I know that there, I think there was a big ribbon cutting when it changed hands. Maybe last Call spring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. there's a big yeah. billboard up somewhere saying, I, you know, this yeah. person now is managing it or something like right. that. You know? mm -hmm. uh, but that, that is something that he needs to manage because that's a major, again, in, in the sponge exchange, I mean, that's a major right. uh, photo, photo op for people. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Nick. I mean, you know, you're our... Yeah. How's the shark? I mean, is the shark in good shape? <laughs> the shark is in better shape than the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a, in a way, it's it. You got to be a little careful because it's a working, it's a working harbor. I mean, this is a, you know, it, it, one, it's a, it's a tourist area. Mm -hmm. But two, it's a working. It's, it's a it's working a port. Working, yeah. yeah, it's working. It, it's one of the few in the whole west coast of Florida. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you've got to have ships that have or boats that have a lot of rust on it and some grunge and some rot and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. And, mm -hmm. and you got to have. The, the smells of all that. I mean, when the, sometimes those sponges sit in the sun, yeah. I mean, it really can be pungent, you know. Yeah. Yes. We have a saying, it's, yeah. it smells like money. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 But to a tourist who's walking by, you know, right. it doesn't look like, you know, then I didn't smell that in the postcard. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Diane, your, your email instructions are, so both, both vessels, I think. You know, both vessels. Like both vessels. Yeah. So you you've got uh, one. Yeah, the, the sponge exchange boat and the uh, the tarpon springs. The sponge exchange isn't that privately owned too? Yeah, but I th I think it yeah. should be it should be drawn to the attention of you know the city manager and the mayor that it's you know maybe that the you know the owners of the sponge exchange should be contacted. I don't think it's our our job to do that but but it's our job to see things maybe yes exactly <laughs> yeah yeah thank you very much nick that's great oh. yeah yeah Something as you said you know it's our it's our it's in our ordinance we have to you know we you know basically ride herd on the way tarpon springs looks so okay speaking of which yes <clears throat> i have something for the <clears throat> staff committee public announcements thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that we're um, proceeding apace with the improvements to the intersection of US 19 and Tarpon Avenue. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see that for lots of reasons, but there are some upcoming um, public works projects over the next year or two. Um, in particular, the um, uh, flood mitigation at the end of uh, Martin Luther King, right, um, and, uh, where it meets the bayou there. there right. um, I'm not sure what the final plan is going to be, mm -hmm. uh, but my understanding from the, the last Board of Commissioners meeting that, that I saw discussing this is that they're probably going to end up uh, putting a berm in and raising the roadway, um, that mm -hmm. being the, the most comprehensive solution. Mm -hmm. And... <clears throat> Uh, there's that and the uh, the Beckett Bridge, right? Right, uh, which I un I know is is a combination of county and and city mm -hmm. to to get that done. Um, here we're talking in both cases we're talking about uh, creating vast expanses of concrete, mm -hmm. and it would be um, good if we could somehow insert some. Um, art involvement into that so that they're not gigantic expanses of concrete mm -hmm. in the end, that they're something that we actually don't mind looking at. Right. Well, one of the things um, that how came do we to do me, that? Right. One of the things that came to mind right away is, uh, you know, if you go down 19, you know, approaching Gulf to Bay, they have all of that ornamental concrete on the overpasses. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very... You know, you obvious. mentioned that before, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Did I? 
Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, you're right. That's that's something yeah. we should definitely yeah. you know get on somebody's radar. Graham, could you write just a memo of those things and maybe some suggestions, and then I could forward it to Projects Administration. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Creating flurries of emails. I have today. some announcements too, please, okay. when it comes time. Anybody else on the committee has any comments, announcements? No? Okay. Diane, it's all yours. Um, we also have in here um, the invitation to the Greek Town uh, mm -hmm. dedication and everything. Um, so that's coming up shortly. And um, also, I uh, have more details probably at the December meeting, but I'm really excited that we're f I'm finally getting um, to do some real good upgrades at the Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. um, it's been many, many years. We have a lot of old, old fluorescent lights that we can't even replace the bulbs in them anymore in the mm -hmm. grates. <laughs> and uh, so we're getting, uh, we're going to be doing some major renovations. And uh, while we're doing that, um, we've Chris still has taken all of his um, artwork out of my section, and uh, then we come back. Um, he's donated to the city a large charcoal, which is the same rendition of the uh, image that he has at Advent Health. And so, they actually, it's fascinating. They took, uh, I'll show that with you in December, but they they actually took out a whole side of the Heritage Museum to get it in and then patched it right up like the same day. It was pretty mm -hmm. amazing. So, um, yeah, so he's going to be, uh, he's donated some two new pieces to us. And so uh, we're in the process of, you know, getting some new lighting, new carpeting and everything like that. And we'll put his artwork back and, um, you know. So the Jaclays? The Jaclays, yeah. Okay. And then... Um, so, you know, over the years, like now his, uh, and Robert can probably uh, appreciate this too, is that, you know, some of the people who have purchased his, um, his artwork, um, you know, they're looking to d maybe donate that, you know, at, at some point in the future when they pass. Um, so Chris has also um, created uh, a new nonprofit called uh, Friends of uh, Christopher Still, so he'll be, you know, he'll be handling all that. And then, you know, if the case may be, we may be able to, you know, get some of that over, the, you know, the years and, you know, have a couple, you know, originals there at some mm -hmm. point, you know, in the future, in addition to what he has already given us. So that's pretty exciting. But we have just a lot of renovation to go through right now. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's kind of slated to get started um, if all goes well after Epiphany, because, you know, Public Works right now is really involved with uh, getting all the decorations up and preparing for Snow Place and, right. you know, all the holiday activities. So that we're hoping to get started, you know, after Epiphany mm -hmm. and just get some of that, you know, major construction done and upgrading and stuff because there's a lot of things that, you know, need to be replaced, you know, mm -hmm. so an effort to maintain our wonderful museum, you know, and um, we're going to be moving the maritime exhibits, you know, over to the Greek history section. And, uh, you know, one of the things, Nick, um, I know, you know, we were going to do the key, you know, the, um, the other new exhibition that we were going to be bringing in. And uh, we've decided to postpone that because of the construction, you know, that we're going to be doing. So, the sponge, we had a really cool sponge exhibit that is in uh, Key Largo right now. And we'll just, we're just postponing it until the construction is done and then we'll bring it up. But um, Nick was involved with theirs. And uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff going on and a lot of new exhibits planned and everything. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. But right. uh, well, you know, obviously, since it's, you know, public art, I just assume like today you're going to keep us in the loop about the. Uh, yeah, the, of course. Yeah, um, like I said, there's, there's not really any new additions other than what he has donated already right. to us. There's like that big charcoal and the two pieces, but right. you know the potential down the road is very exciting. You know, mm -hmm. but in order to do this, we just have a lot of upgrading in there. You know, in that uh, particular building that needs to be done. So better to do it now right. than later. So it's very exciting that we actually have a chance to do that now. Right. So. Um, one other thing. Um, 
I know that um, I was asked to, um, well, the, let's just say that there was some concern about the original Christopher Still that's behind the information desk at the public library and whether it should be framed, it should not be framed. I, I you know, I, I communicated with uh, Kelly Victory, who's, you know, Chris's wife. I usually go through her. And she said that the whole idea that it's a, you know, Trump loy, you know, it looks like some of the things are actually coming out of a painted frame that's part of the painting. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah so that's, that's that. And the other thing, you know, and this kind of reflects back on what Graham was saying, too, about, you know, some major uh, construction, you know, uh, they're creating a new um, clerk's office. So I think that maybe that's something else we should look into is maybe doing some kind of, you know, art installation uh, in the clerk's office because that obviously gets a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. And you'll add that to your memo, please. Writing away. <laughs> I mm -hmm. saw that. But, you know, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a huge project. And, uh, you know, maybe we could do something, you know, in consultation with the staff over there. So we don't put in something that they're, you know. It's kind of like the library. I wasn't here then, but you know, when you go into the library and they've got the etching, you know, scenes on the glass mm -hmm. and things like that, that's so beautiful. You know, there's different elements, you know, in there that's incorporated. Okay, oh, and one more thing. Um, our elusive local sculptor, Kyle Pierce, has bubbled to the surface. <laughs> you guys don't know. Oh, the, the Kyle Pierce story, but uh, we, he came to one of our meetings, you know, uh, a thousand years ago, and we actually wanted to commission him to do uh, Pelican sculptures where the Mike Elwell sculpture is now. Ah. And he, poof, vanished. Mm. Well, anyway, um, a friend of mine, Merle Seaman, actually had him do some private work over at the uh, uh, marina, and uh, he is, you know, in contact with him. So uh, one of the things I was thinking about um, would be to talk to him about doing, it's, it seems that part of uh, Tarpon Springs lore is that uh, there was a fishing cat by the two Georges named Sylvester. So I'd like to, you know, just pursue this, and I'll obviously, you know, bring everything back to, to the committee, but I'd like to try to reach out to him and see whether he could do a, a, a little, you know, cat sculpture for, for the close to the pelican, because I think that would just add to the narrative down there. So um, let's see, I think that's it. And, uh, so our next regular meeting is Wednesday, December 14th at 2 o'clock, and it is 3.07, and the meeting is adjourned. Will everyone be in town December 14th? I know Robert will not be here. But I won't be here.